What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I want to cover the state of Destiny 2, Eververse, the community and much more. Now before I go any further people, a few days ago I scheduled a video of me opening Dawn and Ingrams which I brought for silver, which in turn I did spend money on. Little did I know the backlash of the comments I was going to get for it. Now, I was away for Christmas and didn't see these comments until I was back, literally a day after I posted it. I instantly saw people were unhappy with me supporting Eververse and many stated I should never post such a video. With that in mind and a few other things which I'll talk about, I took the video down. Now to address other comments in stating I'm a hypocrite for one day hating the implementation of Eververse and the next day buying silver to spend within it, let's get one thing straight. I do indeed feel as almost everyone does and that is the implementation of such ruins the game which it does. Eververse does indeed ruin the game, not because of what it is, many games have such places to buy cosmetics, this isn't at the norm. The problem here is, the further we've gone with Eververse, the best looking gear is locked behind Eververse's paywall. I love Destiny, I love my Hunter and I want my Hunter to look as good as it can. I wanted this gear so I brought silver to spend on it trying to get it. There was absolutely no way I was ever going to get this gear through playing the game normally. That was certain so I did buy silver. What I am sorry for though is the community coming a more toxic place to be in at the moment more than it's ever been. One person makes a single mistake in posting an engram opening video and I basically held down and shit on. Luckily I'm a strong willed dude. If I was of a depressive nature, some of the comments I read would have surely got me down. It was literally disgusting. I know what I read was left by geeks playing out of their parents basements, but please if you're ever going to leave a comment of a negative nature, at least try and kind of be wise with your words. Hoping death upon my family isn't the way forward, trust me. And about me being a hypocrite, the same logic surely falls upon the people who hate on the game every day, leave comments about the game being dead every day, fill the comment sections of YouTube videos with hate, Reddit posts, the bungee forums, doing all that and yet they still play and watch people play the game. So let's not talk about being a hypocrite here. I brought silver because I wanted gear which I was never ever going to obtain via playing the game normally. Yes I do not agree with Eververse but I also never see it going away. Eververse in my opinion will always be here. Whether or not they strip bare bright and ground contents and add that loot into obtainable loot pools within normal play is another thing, otherwise it's always going to be there. If it was stripped back though, nobody would have cared about me buying engrams, but because of the state it's in now, people want me to die because of this. People need to calm down, thousands and thousands of people buy silver. They just don't make it public and I can understand why. People seem to forget that kids watch Destiny videos and read the comments. Seeing comments as such, they will repeat elsewhere. My 7 year old daughter watches and reads the comments on my videos. While she isn't easily phased, seeing people wish death upon her is not the reason I make videos and that's one of the main reasons of me removing the video. It honestly hurts me how the community treats such people for wanting to enjoy certain things. This is the reason behind many many content creators on YouTube staying clear of their comment section. It's a hostile place at the moment, one mistake and their heads are demanded to be taken off. Honestly it's disappointing. If you ain't there to support that person, what the heck are you there for? Really sad times in my opinion, really really sad times. Something else I want to address, yesterday I uploaded a video which was titled PvP is not dead. Within that video I had major fun playing with my hunter, basically going in viz using my sword within mayhem. I know this annoys the hell out of people, that's why I was having so much fun. I'd never had so much fun, I said within the video, PvP is certainly not dead when you can have this much fun. And wow, I awoke the same sort of people looking for that attention. Comments as such, I'm unsubbing because one day you hate the game, the next day you're saying it's the best game ever. The way people take what I say out of context is unreal. I've never ever said I hate Destiny. I hate the way Bungie are making the game, but I want to see the game do great. Because I upload videos talking the truth about Destiny and Bungie, which can be seen as me hating on them, I do it out of love for the game. I do not hate Destiny. I hate the direction it seems though Bungie are taking it and I will speak out about it. If you sub to me because I call out Bungie and the BS they try and pull because you think I'm the type of YouTuber who loves to hate on everything negative one does, you are wrong. 
I ain't that type of YouTuber. I call out the truth and will state it. And I do that for the sake of my viewers. In my opinion, there needs to be one black sheep in the family. There needs to be one person in the community that speaks out about it. And if I can be that person, I will be it. I will not sit here and lick balls for the sake of my channel and Bungie inviting me out to places. I will tell the truth about the game to make it a better game. And it's as simple as that. And it all does come out of love for the game and wanting it to be great again. Simple. Trust me, I wouldn't play and post a game if I hated it. You wonder why my channel has over 500,000 dead subs? It's because I built a channel up around a game called Call of Duty for many, many years. The game, to me, turned into complete garbage. So I moved on. Simple as that. I would lost the biggest audience I've ever had in doing so, but the choice was made by me because I couldn't continue playing a game which I hated. It was as simple as that, so I moved on. If Destiny hits me like that, trust me, I would simply just move on from it. But I don't hate Destiny, in fact I love it as a franchise and I ain't giving up on it yet. But in order for this game to be great again, major changes are needed to one particular feature and that is Eververse. A place which has become to behold the true endgame loot. Earn loot here via playing normally or leveling up and earning bright engrams. Or by you spending money to try and get them contents easier. As you know I have purchased such engrams because the loot they behold I just can't get. And to be honest, I don't ever see myself ever getting them. And to be honest, from the engrams I've purchased, I still haven't got what I wanted. It is a horrible, horrible system they have in place here. The more you spend it seems, the harder things are to get. And the more bungee add, reducing the chances of you getting them said items you want. Now, in Destiny 1, Eververse was never this bad. Well, she might have been, but it wasn't really an issue back in the D1 times because there was plenty of endgame in place. Contents of these bright engrams were decent, but they never overshadowed what was obtainable via normal gameplay itself. But it all changed in D2. Eververse for sure is a home to the best loot and the best looking loot within the game. I have said it many many times, bright engrams are the one and only true end game this game offers. Eververse is a system which makes Bungie no doubt millions and millions of dollars per year and an interesting video I highly recommend you checking out was one posted a few days ago by COS Gaming. He breaks down the cost of each bright engram and works out the price of bright dust and what it could cost for said items these engrams offer. An awesome video which you will find linked within the video description and I do highly recommend you check it out. What he finds is absolutely scummy. I for sure was not aware of this video before I purchased some engrams myself. Would this have changed my mind? 100% it would have. But hey, what's done is done, there's no going back. He works out the cost of Bright Dust, a currency we can use to buy certain loot from Test Eververse, with the best case scenario of it costing around $1 per 1000 Bright Dust. Worst case is $1 for only 30 Bright Dust. He works this out with, to say the least, quick maths. But his point is definitely valid. He calculates the drop rates of bright engrams and said loot drops dismantled and their bright dust worth. With such items on sale for 3000 bright dust could cost you up to or above $30 and that doesn't even take RNG into account. The total cost of everything Eververse offers is way over $10,000 and again people spending that much money wouldn't guarantee you got every item which is even more of a joke. Eververse has become something none of us would have expected. It's basically become the center point of this loot shooter. Something which has taken over and the worst thing is people this is gambling. Straight up gambling. You spend money in turn of a chance of getting a certain said something. That is gambling. And in reality it should be illegal in games of that of a certain age. Yet you are allowed to gamble within this game and it's deemed fine by whatever board of regulations this falls under. How is that? In my opinion though, Eververse will never be removed from the game. Bungie will, like Dean Ambrose said on Twitter, they will look into it. But there will always be a place in the game where cosmetics will be able to be bought. It's as simple as that. What needs to be done is all the contents within these engrams, they need to be added into the loot pool of the game. Every single thing bright engrams offer, they need to be added into the loot pool of gameplay. And please, nobody state where well, you can earn bright engrams via leveling up. Yes, you can, but there is nobody on this planet who plays this game enough to earn everything these engrams offer. So the everyday Bob and Larry like me and you have no chance. What needs to be done is one of two things. Bright engram loot needs to be toned down and said items need to be offered elsewhere. Or everything these bright engrams offer needs to be on sale 24 hours a day for a said price of bright dust. And bright dust for us, the player, needs to be way more easily obtainable. Eververse at the moment is selling an emote which will cost over 3,000 bright dust. 
I literally dismantled all I could to try and obtain it, but I still was way, way off. This is a joke. I tweeted about this and tagged Bungie in it. I'm also followed by a few Bungie peeps, so I know they saw it. And do you think I care? No, I don't. That was the plan in the tweet. The whole system which is in place here is an absolute joke. It's a system which in my opinion is far, far worse than anything we've seen from other games, EA included. At least with them and Star Wars, they sorted it literally out overnight with the uproar from the EA Star Wars community. Why don't Bungie act this quick? Many people blame Activision. Is it truly Activision that's forced this system into place within their game? I honestly don't know and I don't care. What I do care about though is getting it sorted. Destiny 2 now is a game cheaper to buy than Minecraft, a game which has been out over 20 times as long. What does that tell you Bungie? It tells everyone else that the shit has hit the pan. This franchise has already begun to sink. It won't be long before it's fully submerged and lost for good. Many, many of the community have moved on, hoping to see a few air bubbles for reassurance in the future, but they have openly admitted they're just locking into a dark clear ocean with no sign of life, which is a shame. Bungie need to sort things out and try and save what's left of their game before there's nothing else to save. We are now seeing leaks on the next DLC. No doubt these leaks are schemed in place by Bungie to try and get the hype train rolling. But I'm afraid Bungie, this hype train has stopped mid-route and there's a bunch of bright engrams on the track stopping it going any further. They need removing before this hype train can get going again. And on that note people, I am out. Thanks as always for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will catch you on that next one. Stay.